Years ago, a mother wrote to me. Her son was using a spoon as a wand, and she wondered what I thought. I told her that he was brilliant and that I was going to make my very own, and I have made spoon wands for stirring up magic ever since. Today is May Day, one of the very best days of the year to see fairies, and so I'm making fairy spying wands. Begin with a plain wooden spoon and drill a hole to spy through. Carve the edges and shave a bit of wood from here and there to give a handcrafted look. If possible, use a proper carving or whittling tool and always cut away from yourself. If you don't want to drill your own hole, you could begin with this funny looking spoon, which, by the way, is for folding ingredients or stirring risotto depending on who you ask. And if you don't want to carve or drill at all, that's okay too. Not all wands need holes. Make your spoon to suit you. Now I'm going to paint my wands with washes of acrylic paint. I'll apply several layers, blending colors as I go. As you make your wand, think about its purpose and what colors might be best for your magic making. Purple for power, pink for love, blue for healing. After painting, I'll sand lightly. This highlights the carved texture that I gave my spoons. I'm adding a dark wash in some areas to give a bit of age. This particular wand is getting some golden highlights. For the grip, I'm simply wrapping some twine around the handle of the spoon. Secure the end in place with some glue and then wind. I extend the twine up the handle and finish off at the top. A little glue holds everything in place. I'm using jewelry glue here so that I can place a glass capuchon into the spying hole. Again, this is absolutely not necessary, but I think it's a nice little touch. Begin to add some decorative elements. You can carve, paint, embellish your piece however you like. get fancy with your twine or ribbon if you like. I usually just play and experiment and see what designs appear. If you like, you could add some nut magic to your spoon. Think about symbols, runes, or magic words to add to your design.
again, to help give the impression of age, I sand the pieces carefully, softening the symbols and designs I painted on them. Then a final wash of burnt umber over the whole thing. These fairy spying wands are ready to be taken into the garden in search of the wee folk. What sort of magic will your spoon wand stir up? Luck? Love? Healing? Whatever you create, remember to show off your glorious masterpiece and tag me, Nicola, wherever you are on social media. I love to see the beautiful things you make. <laughs>